Welcome to Delta Danish Electronic Light and Acoustic. I'm Dr. Death. I'm trying to destroy this uh, magnificent piece of electronic equipment. Click it on here. And this chamber here is a combination of an oven, so I can get hot air out of here, 200 degrees Celsius, or I can get cold air, minus 100 degrees Celsius, or I can make this whole thing rattle and shake. So this is my torture chamber, and I'm trying to do my best to destroy this piece of equipment in order to find the weak points before the customer does. Let's try to cool it down. Minus 60, and press the button, the run button. So actually now, you could hear the click coming in now, and now we have, we will pour in liquid nitrogen. So now we can hear a nice sound of nitrogen coming in, and in a little while we will have the, the cooling effect on the system. Aiming for minus 60 degrees, and now at 20 degrees, and then in a minute or two we will be down at minus 60 degrees. That's quite uh, a big, um, temperature change rate. Uh, it's bigger than the camera ever will see in real use. Uh, because you're in real use you don't really have plus 75 degrees one minute and next minute minus 60 degrees. But in whole test you do everything to try to find the weak points if it's not looking like real use. You test it much more harsher than real use. Yeah, now we are at minus 60 degrees. It's less than two minutes we change the temperature. So the product have gone from plus 75 degrees Celsius to minus 60 degrees. That's 135 degrees Celsius in a couple of minutes. Very harsh conditions. We have minus 62 degrees in there. Let's see. Yeah, there's still some. Yeah, this display is still working. It's a little slower the display, but it's still working. Very nice. Very nice. So we can get on with the test. Let's start the chamber again. Now you can hear the sound of the vibrator starting up. It's going to be a harder vibration. 30 G's, that's 30 times the acceleration of gravity. If you're flying an F-16 airplane, you can get up to 70 or uh, uh, 7. 10, 12 G's when you are making hard maneuvers. So now we are testing three times as hard as an F-16 jet airplane. Uh, this sounds nice. Now we can hear the vibration level is increasing. Still running up in the vibration level. Just to show now that you can hear, actually hear some nice sounds from the vibration system. I will turn on uh, heat. So now we will change up in temperature at the same time that we have vibration in it because then we can open it and listen to the vibration inside. That's quite heavy stuff. Nice, 128 degrees Celsius. Now I can start to make cakes in here. This is hot, really hot. Ah, let's see if it's still working. This is exciting. What do you think? I don't know, I don't know. This is hot around five minutes. Could be. Well, sound okay? It's just my time. No, it's just my Yes, this is working. Now we got here, started at 9.23, went up to a higher temperature, plus 70, went down to minus 60, opened the chamber and checked that it still was working, and then we went up back to, uh, to high temperatures again in our well. Just in a couple of, but, uh, 12 minutes or something like that. Very high temperature change rates. Still work. Try to look at this one here. Ah, it's hot. Ah, still working. I used to be a natural born killer, but it's still working. I have to go up to higher temperature. <laughs> 